when we discussed what jquery is i have just mentioned that jquery is a write less do more javascript library that is you might have to write 25 to 30 lines of code to implement a functionality whereas the same functionality can be implemented using just 5 or 6 lines of jquery code so in this lecture let us try to compare jquery and javascript in terms of the number of lines of code that is whether it is actually able to write less to implement complex functionalities using jquery compared to javascript to illustrate this i have created a web page this is the one and i have copied some content from two of the popular websites one is w3schools.com and the other one is a google blog the official google blog as i am copying content from some other sites i have used the blog code element to cite the specific website address so i have two blog code elements one to reference the content from w3schools.com and the other one is to reference the content from google's blog now this is how the web page is appearing this is the content from the first site and this is the content from the second site now suppose i want to add a link here that is specifying source and i want to make it an hyperlink so that when the user clicks on this link he will be redirected to the actual website suppose i want to do it using javascript do you know how to do that i will show you here we have to add the script to add the javascript code even if you are new to javascript you don't have to worry this is just to illustrate that jquery is a write less do more library and you can implement the same functionality by writing very few lines of code if you are going for jquery so first we are going to implement this using javascript i am not writing the code from scratch i will explain the code i have written the code once the window is loaded completely that is window.onload and i have added an anonymous function now from here if you look at this i am actually getting the block code elements that is using document.get elements by tag name the tag name is block code and i have saved it in a my codes variable and i am not sure whether there is more than one block code element so it is going through a loop this is a for loop and i am first getting the address of the corresponding block code element using get attribute site that is here site is the name of the attribute so i am using get attribute method and then gets the address that is this address and i am storing it in a variable then if there is a value for the address variable then what i am doing i have to create a hyperlink isn't it so i am cr using create element method to create a hyperlink and i am adding the href attribute and setting its value to the same address this is the address and i use the set attribute method then i want to display some message so i am displaying the message source here you can also use reference or any other text message you want and i have to create a text node so i am using create text node method then i have to append this source that is a text node as a child to this hyperlink so i have used append child message then i have to display it inside a paragraph so i have again created a p element using create element then set its class name to reference and finally added the link we have created using append child so we have written almost if you start from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 3 21 almost 21 lines of code we have written even including curly braces and what will happen now let us check the web page let me refresh see 
a source is here again a source is here if i click this source it will be redirected to the specific w3schools.com web page and when we click here it is going to the google's official blog so we have implemented this functionality using javascript and here we have to write these many lines of code to implement such a functionality suppose i am replacing this code with jquery now here is the jquery code this is the equivalent code to implement the same functionality that is previously we have used 21 lines of code here you could see that just one two three four five six seven lines of code so i'm not explaining this because at this point of time it will be difficult for you to understand however let us check whether it works exactly the same way see it has two links source and when we click this link it goes to the corresponding web page so as you see here we implement the same functionality using jquery with just a few lines of code that is as the name of the course explains you can do really great things in just a few lines of code if you are using jquery and on the other hand if you are using javascript you will have to write more lines of code to implement the same functionality so this lecture clearly explains why this write less do more is a very accurate and excellent tagline for jquery